All around the nation, people are gathering for Life Chain Day, a day where anti-abortion advocates come together to prayerfully stand for life. In Lycoming County, supporters from both sides came out to peacefully protest the decades-long controversy surrounding abortion. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Allen has our story. Each year, communities throughout the country come out on the first Sunday in October for National Life Chain Day. Hundreds of anti-abortion advocates lined the Golden Strip in Williamsport, holding signs against abortion. It's just a reminder that abortion does kill children, and it hurts a lot of women, and uh, we need to remind the public of this. In June, the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, giving states the right to decide whether abortion remains legal. Donna Allsummer Thomas from Lycoming County Life Chain says the group has been forming this chain for more than 20 years, and they're pushing for change this election. Uh, of course, Pennsylvania, our governor is not pro-life, so he is not going to support any changes of that, but we're working on that. A smaller group of about 15 people also came out, but as pro-abortion supporters. Mary Sheminsky, the vice president of Williamsport's National Organization for Women, says they want the state to keep abortion legal. What we do want is not to have the legal right to um, end a pregnancy if it's best for us, for the woman, for our families. Both groups peacefully protested side by side. The NOW organization has also been advocating for decades, and Sheminsky says their efforts are far from over. If we keep spiraling in that direction, um, it's forced pregnancy, forced birth, and I don't think the government has any place in that decision. And I'll keep fighting. In Williamsport, Jasmine Allen, 2822 Eyewitness News.